We are at the Kawailoa Wind Farm. It's located on the north shore of Oahu in Hawaii. Um, it's a 30 turbine project and produces 69 megawatts of power. And it's been in operation since late 2011. So historically in Hawaii, uh, it's all been fossil fuel based. So 75% of Hawaii's energy came from oil and 25% from coal. In 2015, uh, Hawaii instituted the uh, Renewable Portfolio Standard to mandate 100% renewable energy by 2045. Uh, so Kualoa Wind is helping contribute to reach that goal. Renewable energy uh, certainly has, uh, you know, ancillary impacts and I think uh, in general the industry wants to reduce those impacts. We have the responsibility to make sure that our projects are being operated in a way that minimizes environmental impacts. A typical day out here at the wind farm is overseeing the whole post-construction mortality monitoring program, um, just day-to-day -day operations, um, just coordinating with uh, searchers, uh, doing any reporting for fatalities, um, just making sure everything is going smoothly for the Habitat Conservation Plan. Out here at Kualo Wind we have the Hawaiian hoary bat. It's uh, Hawaii's only native land mammal. Um, it's an endangered species, so yeah, it's obviously a species of concern. And uh, yeah, we're trying to do everything we can to minimize any sort of like negative impacts to that species population. I don't know, I like the idea that they're just, they were here already. They're a native mammal that's been out here, so that's why they're important to keep around. The thing that's unique about Hawaii is the Hawaiian hoary bat is also a listed species. So it means that every fatality is very important and we take it, you know, take it really seriously. I think that again, in order to achieve the state's renewable goals, as well as combat climate change, it is gonna require some big, bold moves. What that means for us is really looking to things that are on the cutting edge. So we do low wind speed curtailment, but we're also trying to be at the forefront and identify other tools in the toolbox. And for us, the energy systems units are what we see as the cutting edge. Energy Systems has been in the renewable energy industry for over 35 years. Um, most people know us as wind resource assessment people, data loggers, anemometers, towers, but Energy Systems in the recent years has become much more than that. The Energy Bat Deterrent System creates ultrasound to try to keep bats out of danger when they're around wind turbines. Uh, bats use echolocation, they send out a pulse of ultrasound, it reflects off of their prey, off of the background, and it comes back to them. What we do is we fill an airspace with really loud ultrasonic noise in the same frequency range that the bats create their echolocation. So that means that they have a much harder time hearing those echo returns and figuring out where their prey is, which means they'd rather just be in airspace that doesn't have that. So the NRG bat deterrent system is based on a set of ultrasonic acoustic speakers. So we'll typically have three on top of the turbine and two on the bottom of the turbine on the nacelle, and they're all radiating out their ultrasonic energy out into the rotor swept zone of the turbine itself. We just see huge promise with this technology, something that will allow our wind farm to operate the way it normally does, but also minimize impacts to bats while we're doing that. So I'm excited to see the technology go up. Um, I'm excited to see the results of our monitoring program over time with the units installed and, and working.
at Quilo when we're really excited about this. We've been tracking this technology from its conceptual stage, you know, working with energy systems as the technology has gone through its testing phase. And now we're finally at a point of having these units that are ready to be installed for real. And it's just really exciting to see that evolution and to see a product that that is showing so much promise um, on our turbines. Working with the Quilo team was amazing. These are very complex projects and it really takes a team to make something like this come together and be successful. And we are very grateful to have had the chance to work with them on the first commercial deployments of bat deterrents in the entire world. I'm hoping that a year from now we can come back to this spot and say we are seeing significant reductions in Hawaiian hoary bat fatalities and that this project is a, an example of success of the technology and is something that can be implemented at other wind farms in Hawaii but also as a symbol of what can be done on the mainland as well. I think the impact on wind energy in general is going to be significant because I think that we can have an incredible impact on global climate change and minimize our impacts on these really important species.